Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode one of Healing Good Video. I am so, so, <laughs> so excited for this show because, oh my god, to see one of my other favorite actresses besides Sarami who played Hachan and Mahotsuka Pidhe and then freaking Iyore who played uh, CL in Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl Mode, we finally finally have one of my other personal favorite actresses, Aoi Yuki, in this show. And it's so funny because as of right now, I'm currently watching her and um, the Sinfokura series. And the person who plays Tsubasa played Blossom in Heart Catch Pretty Cure, which is like, it, it's my least favorite, but I still loved it for her and a couple other characters. And I still enjoyed it for what it was. But it's so funny and interesting because she's passing the baton to her and it's just like my heart, I can't. So, I mean, if you have not seen typically any Aoyuki show with her and stuff, I would, like, 100% sure recommend it. Like, go go watch Madoka or go watch Sinfo Gear or even um, Saga of Telling the Evil. Anything that she's been in where she's either playing a good character or a bad character, Aoyuki is just phenomenal in anything she really does. I mean, you can tell that, yes, I am Aoyuki Stan. I don't think, it's like, there's going to be parts where I'm going to be like, yes, it's just kind of better than the other ones, but this is episode one, and it's going to be so good, and I'm honestly excited as hell, because this is just going to be so good. I have a lot of hopes going into this. I don't want it to be, like... What else can I say? I, I don't want it to be how I felt where um, last year around this time when we were doing Star Trek Pretty Gear and I watched that first episode and I was like blown away by it and I kind of said and I was on it, I got some I kind of got some heat for this saying that Star Trek Pretty Gear was better than Hagato even though it was only one episode in and then by the time we finished it like last week two weeks ago and I said my final thoughts and it still isn't the my most favorite in the, this from reacting to some of these shows and stuff but I think this is going to make me um still be more in love with Pretty Cure as in general because I still love it it is still near and dear to my heart but because of the stuff that happened in Star Twinkle I'm a little cautious now and it's almost like the same thing with Hagato and how I personally felt when I finished Hagato and it's like that going into Star Twinkle and I still have a little bit of more hurt and I'm kind of like begging pleading that this show could be like the one that kind of just says okay this is we kind of I'm not gonna say mm, we kind of fucked up in our way with these two shows here's something that's a little bit more better because I still will say that for the voice actresses who did Star Twinkle Pretty Care and who also did Hagato they were phenomenal actresses and they did those roles well, but I feel like Toll Animation did some things with those that I did not agree with, but ish. But yes. I am so ready to watch this. I am so excited. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode one in three, two, one, go. So apparently this came from their YouTube page and I, I wasn't even imagining. I heard some things and stuff like that. I have seen the transformation. <laughs> I have seen the transformation. I have seen the opening and I have seen the ending. And they're good. But we will talk more about her transformation like towards the end of the episode. So is it just her and her mom? <laughs> No, your dad's there too. Oh, let Madoka go. She'll be fine. She's Madoka. She's Hibiki. She's freaking Futaba from Persona 5. She can handle herself. She's Saga and Tanya. She's Tanya from Saga and Tanya. She can handle herself. This is like, she's a freaking queen. Hmm? 
Oh my god, you were so adorable. Oh my god, puppy. Ah! Oh my god. The last time I was in, in love, love with a mascot besides um what's her face <laughs> not only Star Twinkle, Kitty Kita, and Hug It's Hoe was freaking puff from Go Princess. Like animal mascots are the best mascot. The animal lover in me. Oh my god, I can't. Oh, my heart. You look like Aqua Regina, so I'm freaking my melody. Stop my heart. Oh my god. I wonder if they're going to show the opening on this. So cute, my kitty, oh my god. I love it. Oh my god. They're all so cute. Oh my god. Stop, please. Like, my heart, even though I've seen this opening like a bunch of times, it still feels like the first freaking time. I can't. I don't remember the other two's names yet, but. <laughs> the her. Oh my god. The freaking aren't the yellow gear. I'm going to love her just as much as Nadoka. Like, oh my god. I think I'm going to love these three as much as I loved freaking the girls from Girl Princess. Because, like, oh my god, the aesthetic. Like, honestly, Nadoka's Cure Grace is giving me Cure Flora vibes. Like, the, the more I just see her, like, uh, I can't. It's like Cure Flora walk. So Grace could run. How Blossom walked. She was like, here, take them. It's oh my god, it's cute. I can't. <laughs> I'm ready for a whole year. One of my favorite voice actresses. Oh my god. Is it weird in a way, even though she isn't really a gato, she seems kind of like a gato to me? A gato type? I already love her. Oh my god. Oh, not so bad. You can go help her. Oh. It's okay. Don't worry, you'll find me. But 
but it doesn't make the heart go flutter flutter. <laughs> yes, the doctor. It'll be really interesting if they actually make Nadoka like the type of person who wants to be a doctor instead of usually making it the blue cure because always the blue cure is always something oh a person who wants to be a marine biologist a veterinarian a doctor something sciency and usually the pink girls are something and then cute, the uh the freaking orange or yellow ones are supposed to be like something it just depends usually like yellow cures are always going into entertainment routes and pinks it depends on who it is <laughs> Are you okay? I mean Right. Yeah, there's a cat too and a dog, but I think the cat and the dog are hiding right now. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh my, oh my god. You better release stuffies of Laje. I swear to God. Mm. I will be on Amazon buying that ish. Oh, no, no, huh? oh. mm, But she's too far away, though. It's funny that in the first episode, she's meeting her comrades instead of typically, it's just her episode one, and then like episode two or three, she meets the other two. Oh my god. Everything. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh. oh. She's sick because of it. Oh. oh my god, that's so freaking cute. I feel 
feel like I know your voice. I know who voices you, but I can't think of it right now. I mean, you give me a hot behind bad guy. Interesting. Oh, you want to say Monday? Go, go, no duck. Oh, are their eye catches going to be like that now? Oh, that is interesting. Oh, my God. It sounds so much like Pecorine and I love it. Oh my god. No. No. Oh my god. Don't do this. No. Oh my god. You are making her relatable as fuck yes. Oh my god. <laughs>
like pop the proof clothes. Oh my god. <laughs> So Grace could run. And its body. That's so cool. Oh. That is so, oh my god. Beautiful, phenomenal, amazing, gorgeous. The aesthetic, flawless, I can't, and we're not even done with this episode. Like, oh my god, I have three minutes left. Jesus Christ. I know your voice. I know who you are. I just can't think of it right now. I think you need to help Latte at the end. Still. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Element bottle. Oh. <laughs> now you figure that out. <laughs> Well, that's going to be all explained in episode two. Okay. This was gorgeous. Freaking gorgeous. I don't know why, but looking at all three of them, I, I just, I'm getting a lot of Go Princess Pretty Year vibes with them because of the fact is it's starting out with three girls, 
the style of how each girl looks gives me feels towards my other three girls, and I love them so much. I mean, it's good. I'm kind of hoping, like, well, no, because with the character songs, she is going to be singing, and I cannot wait to hear her voice because she's just an angel. I do love the fact that in this first episode, we got to see the other two. I was shocked. I wasn't um, typically expecting it, because typically, yeah, Liv, going back to, you know, Star Trek over here, or even Hagato, in Star Trek, well, they did show Lala in it. But I was like, okay, like, are they going to do something different? But just showing the other two cures, not yet, but just seeing their normal versions of them, they're every day. It's so good. Oh my god. Nadoka, I love you so freaking much. The one thing that I loved about this is that she's fucking relatable. This girl was sick as a child. And it's, it's something personal. I was sick as a kid too. A lot. Dead ass a lot. And just to know that like, she's so much better now and such. I'm guessing this isn't a preview to the next episode. It's just showing the exact same things from the episode anyway. I do like the fact that they did actually have this first episode because I do know between Friday when I was streaming, um, they were doing a couple live streams and everything, and then they eventually ended up showing the episode on their YouTube channel, and I thought that was really interesting. Very different, and so I'm guessing they're going to be doing a lot of different things for Healing Good Pretty Care, but like just going back to the point that, yes, this girl was sick as a child, and... Knowing that, yeah, I was sick a lot as a child, as from what my mother um, told me in the past, because I, you know, that I, things that I would love to go through, but she told me much, but I don't know really predominantly everything. But yes, I knew I was very um, sick as a child growing up, especially as going into a baby to a toddler up until, I don't know, I think I was maybe like four or five and stuff. It, it's a lot. I would have to go back and ask her and everything, but just that right there, just seeing that like, hit something at me. I was like, oh my god, like, bam, that is our connection between me and you, and how you're relatable to me and stuff, and I think it's gonna be so good, and to learn more on her backstory, and just seeing someone as her, knowing that in the beginning, she used to be very, very sick, and now she's healthy, a very healthy child, and everything, and wanting to know the ins and outs of what happened to her, so that's something that's going to have to be number one for me that if that's going to be a must have because I have so many questions about this now and I hope that they can do it right and making her because I've, I don't think any other cure predominantly any other color a pink a purple a red a um, yellow a blue um, a multicolored or really a green has you know been sick like that. I mean, they've taken each, any character from Futariwa all the way up to this now, um, everybody has related to in some way, shape, or form. And for me, I would say, um, I think when I was watching, uh, for like, I think every series except uh, Happy? I think it's Happiness? Happiness pretty good? It was the one before um, Go Princess. I, I had I kind of related to some of the girls, but not as much until Go Princess came. So from Go Princess all the way up until now, because I did kind of relate to some girls from Star Twinkle and then a little bit of Hagato. I mean, because that was the baby fever because I, at that time I was like, oh my God, I want kids too and stuff. But I mean, to have a girl that when I look at her and I see her backstory and like predominantly 100% is like, I see me. And I, you know, think of time my mom used to tell me things and stuff like that. It's just like, oh my god, like, they they just went like, bam, here's, let's just knock that Cory down. Let's make her cry in a couple of minutes and such. But I am really excited for this and the fact that this is going to be a year of her and plus the other two. I cannot wait to see more of the other two. I know 
um, from what some people have told me from the next episode, it is another Nadoka um, main focus episode, which I am predominantly excited for because ish, and she's already best girl until um, the yellow cure comes in because I think she's going to be phenomenal, even though we're going to go into blue after. And so I just cannot wait to see these girls shine and see their hopes and their dreams and their passions and the things that they love to do on the side. I think this is going to be possibly the best one in this series. It's going to be it like for me, I think maybe I'm going to say this now. And then, you know, when we get to next year and I look back onto this, you know, I'll probably say some things different about it. Who knows? But I think for me, this might be like probably one of the the best ones. Like the last time I said that, I said that for Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl in Mode and even Maho Girls and whoever they have for the final cure of this group. I'm just wondering how in the world she's going to stand with my other final girls, you know, Hatch on, Cure Felice, you know, that is, she's my number one, no matter what, because that is my number one favorite voice actress that is Sarami. She's amazing. Then you had freaking um, Parfait with Iori and her voice acting range and how flawless and beautiful she is and amazing. And then you had um, Sumiri who played <laughs> my best girl of Star Trek over here and her range is the same thing with Lala because I mean, and I, because I messed up. I thought it was Olivia, it's not Olivia, it's Kasumi, who she played in Asabi Asabase, and she's been in a lot of things in the past year, and those girls, and whoever they pick for this final girl, I'm just hoping and praying, she has, like, she's up there with those four, because, I mean, when they usually have the final cure, and I say this, typically with every, with every other series that I've seen, they always get, like, this really good, amazing, flawless voice actor, and I, typically, usually, all the other cures are, they're either, um, they've been in voice acting for a little while, or they're still relatively brand new, and then whoever is that brand new final cure, it's someone who's been in voice acting for a very long time. Sarami, Iori, um, Samiri, like, I, I think also, I can't, pres I can't say for, Emmy do and Lala's VAs because I have to go back and do some research on them to see how much they've been in the voice acting game. But for Cure Felice, Cure Parfait, and um, Uni's character, all three of those women have been in the game for such a long time and they're known for these amazing voice range and what they can do for their voices, especially like number one, um, the one who voiced Parfait. And get a free girl in mode. If you literally look her up, and if you've seen her in so many so many shows, she and freaking um Aoyuki and the way that they do their voices and like some people are like when I did um when I started reactions and I did shows that they were in in 2016 and people were like oh hey did you know that was her and I was like no and then you're like what the freak like how do you do that with your voices and stuff and I I just think oh my god but just to see like. A big, big, besides um, the one who did Cure Blossom and stuff, and I think whoever else, because they're all, everyone who goes into this series, either they still get big, big roles or not as big roles. You never really, it just depends on the person. Um, they're all good. But like I said, that's typically what it's like. You get first little, like, I would say newbie voice actors, and then whoever is that final one, they are like, in that voice acting game so I honestly cannot wait to see who the last year is I have heard um people have already tried to uh I think unlock the toy to see whatever I think I think the last one is supposed to be white I believe I'm not 100% sure I've seen some things but I'm like still trying to not get spoiled as much and stuff so I'm like eh, I don't want to know too too much but yeah I really enjoyed this first episode and I cannot wait to see what else is in store for Nadoka and her friends but other than that guys I mean because this video is long as heck <laughs> that is my reaction view towards episode one of Healing Good Pretty Gear if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad in. Of course, I will see you guys either. It depends because um, 
I don't think they're going to do this again for episode two. I think it would be interesting if they did. Um, if it comes out before midnight on Saturday and if I have time, I'll, I'll watch it. If not, I'll have it either come out later on that Sunday or on Monday because predominantly I'm like, I'm guessing it's going to be 100% like how they did with every other Pretty Cure in the past where, um, the video comes out on Sunday. I mean, well, the episode comes out Sunday, it gets stubbed later on Sunday or between Monday. And then by the time I get it, it is Monday afternoon or whatever. Um, cause typically when I go on go or kiss, that's usually when they have it, but I don't really know. But whenever the next episode is out, whenever somebody messages me and says, Hey, it's out, <laughs> which whichever comes first, that is the next time you will, you will see me. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye. Thank you.